The National Universities Commission, NUC, says it is collecting data from universities to assess their readiness for the resumption of academic activities. The commission also said efforts are ongoing to resolve the strike by the Academic Staff Union of Universities, ASU, that threatens to further delay the resumption of academic activities in universities. The Executive Secretary of NUC, Abubakar Rashid, said this during a press conference on the contributions of Nigerian universities to the national response to COVID-19 in Abuja on Tuesday. Nigeria closed its tertiary institutions along with lower schools in March due to the coronavirus outbreak. And joining us now is Professor Leo Ukbong, Faculty of Business Administration, University of Uyo. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. With the population we have in our tertiary institutions, how confident are you that there would be stringent impl implementation of the COVID-19 guidelines? Uh -huh. Uh, that's a little difficult to uh, to say. First, you know, uh, traditionally, we uh, we have classrooms. We use classrooms for most of our lectures. We use labs for most of our you know scientific experiments. And uh, at present, the capacity in most public universities that I know of. Uh, is under in terms of the class sizes. And uh, even in terms of manpower, I think we are under, uh, under the, uh, what we need. So if you look at just manpower and facility, if we're going to go back to the traditional way, those two things must be increased. Class size have to be increased or the number of classes so that we can reduce the number of students in a lecture, typical lecture room. By doing that, you also have to match it with an increase in manpower in terms of lecturers. So if you had 10 lecturers before, there might be a need to increase it to 15, you know, so that they can man the other classes. The other aspect of, you know, to handle COVID-19 is to move from the traditional classroom setting to more a technological driven. We're talking about the internet facility and uh, the connectivity. And I don't think we have done a good job so far preparing both the, those who are to deliver the lectures and the students. And I think we are still behind. All right. Yeah. I, I also con want to know. Conservatively, yeah, we I, are at least six months behind, uh, if not more. Well, I, I guess, you know, these are some of the things that, you know, the NUC and uh, universities at large will also learn from uh, um, post-COVID-19. Um, these areas that you've mentioned um, that, um, of course, will be the most challenging with regards to reopening universities, how do you think that they can be immediately um, uh, taken care of? Uh, either of them, you know, I mentioned only three. Recruitment, for example, is something that takes time. It takes time to advertise, interview, and then recruit the best people, to, you know, to work with us. Uh, to build any, any capital project of building takes time. You talk about two to three years to five years. I think the quickest way, in my opinion, to handle this in the short term is to invest heavily on internet technology, not necessarily in the classrooms, because most students can get these lectures from their homes. So somewhere they have to be equipped with laptops. The lecturers also have to be equipped with the right equipment to deliver the lectures or the lab, whatever they're doing in the lab. And I, I think that will cost, it will be less expensive All to right. go that route than yeah. to try to build, you know, increase the size of the classrooms yeah. or labs and recruit. Well, so let, short let's term, also... I will go. I will push for technological uh, installations in facilities to handle that.
Yeah. Um, it, it, let's also talk about the University of Uyo. Is the uh, university also looking to resume if the government gives the go-ahead? Uh, can you repeat that, please? I'm asking about the University of Uyo now. I, I, is that university also looking to resume if the government gives a go-ahead? Uh, we've not had the word yet officially, but they've been aggressively uh, preparing for the resumption. And uh, we are looking at going online. Uh, but I don't think the facilities are up and ready yet. Uh, as I said, we probably will need about two to three months uh, to test run and do everything here. Okay, all right. Well, we, uh -huh. also, we also understand that universities not under ASU can go back to classes once they have put the uh, necessary uh, facilities in place. Um, in, uh, of course, in comparison to public schools, what are the chances that you feel private schools will be taken to open? I, I, I believe the private schools, because they are not, uh, are probably more prepared than the public schools. It's the bureaucracy of the public schools that is delaying in, in, in a public school preparation. Uh, most private schools that I have had conversation with have already, in, throughout the long break, they were experimenting and working with their students. Um, so in terms of preparation, I um, believe the private school are ahead of the public schools, yeah. All right. Um, and the final one, I just want you to quickly cl clarify this. You know, you said two, three months, you know, for the University of Uyo to at least find some stability with regards to um, reopening. Um, can you assure, you know, that in the next two or three months, uh, some of these things, including virtual, uh, virtual learning um, uh, facilities, would be available in the University of Uyo? Okay. The, the facilities in the university is one. If we're going to use the facilities to deliver lecture. That's universal for you, uh, physical facilities. Uh, we need to install the proper technology, you know. And that has been done in some of the labs, but it will not accommodate all the students because, you know, we have to space uh, the social distances and requirement. Now, in a case like that, that means we will have maybe a lecture that was twice a day, three or four times. I think as when it gets late, some of those sessions could be moved to where they deliver the lectures to their own homes. Yeah. So I, I think in terms of the University of U facilities, we still need some time so that we can accommodate as many students without jeopardizing the social distances uh, uh, requirement. All right. Uh, that is why I said three months. <laughs> All right. Professor Leo Ukbong, thank you so much for uh, joining us and sharing this conversation with us. We definitely would look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you for having me.